This is the third video in this playlist. The first talked about uh, the difference between auto-launched and, and screen flows. We're using an auto-launch for this one. The second video talked about how to create the cloned opportunity record. And uh, again, just the, the need for filtering to make sure that you get the information you need at that point. The, uh, one step in that, just to make sure we highlight, is that uh, when you create these records, they say make sure that the ID for this uh, record variable is blank because after the flow, it's going to set it equal to that. And so you'll see that uh, we use that in the next step. So when we go out and, and get, and, and what we're doing is, is getting all the opportunity contact rules. So all the folks that were related to this opportunity. And uh, so the what we're doing is you could see here there's a, a, a label name. Um, what's interesting is it's, it's, it's peeking out over here as well because what happens is this is actually created as a record collection variable um, automatically. Um, and uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go out and get opportunity contact roles when the conditions are met, which is where opportunity ID equals that original opportunity that's the legacy opportunity. Uh, and we're going to go out and get all the records. And then we're pulling in basically all the fields. So we're looking at the contact ID uh, and is primary uh, the role. And if it's deleted, it's worth capturing as well. So, so that's, that's the information that we're looking for. And then uh, because we have this built, uh, and this is the way that kind of when you click it, it takes you right back to here again. So that lets you know that that's where it came from. Uh, what we're going to do is to loop through, and the loop is interesting because uh, we're going to go out and the, the collection variable is this uh, get opportunity records is, is what we're using for the, uh, um, the collection. And uh, then we're going to loop through using a variable we defined as a loop variable. So this is just a, uh, a, a, a single kind of record variable. Um, and we're going to be storing and working through it. You'll see how this works then. Uh, and so what happens is for each item coming out of the loop, there's a decision whether or not it's a primary contact. If it's a primary contact, uh, and that was from, you know, the field here that we got that said, you know, is it a primary contact? And we have, we know that whether here is primary is a true false kind of a Boolean there. Um, if it's primary, what happens is the nonprofit success pack automatically builds them as the primary. So you don't, you don't actually have to do that. So what we're doing is looping through the, the ones that were not primaries. And uh, the assignment here is, is just to uh, take the, uh, the new opportunity record ID uh, and, and put it into here where the opportunity ID is for the loop variable. So we're just updating kind of that single piece of information. Uh, and the only other thing we need to do is to make sure that we do uh, take out the ID uh, that may exist. And that's, that's um, it, you know, the, the contact rule ID uh, here. And, uh, and then, but we didn't assign anyway, so I don't say a bit, but anyway, we're, now we assign here. And what we're doing here is we're saying, take the loop variable, all that information that was captured kind of from, uh, that, with, that was read and then added to, uh, this is a record collection variable here, which is the to be created uh, cloned opportunity contact. Uh, and so that, that's, you know, we can see that's an RCV that's gonna sit over here, record collection variable. Uh, and so what, what happens is as this thing rolls through, it does this until there's uh, none left. And then when it's at the last item, what you do is you go out and it's a real simple step. What you're doing is creating multiple records and you're using this RCV to be able to make that happen. So just to show you how this works, we're looking at, let's say this, this grant opportunity here. And if we go out to it, uh, we can we can capture this information here. I'm just going to show you a quick debug just to show you how it plays. Uh, and I'm going to copy that. And then what I'm going to do is to go back to my flow builder. And I'm going to run my debug. And I'm going to give it a record ID of that. And I'm going to say run that. 
uh, and then what happens is it says it was all done. I go back here and do a refresh and it tells me that there's a new opportunity here that's a 2020, was prospecting now and it's a year later. And then if I open it uh, and I open it in a new tab uh, and I go out and take a look at the relationships, uh, the related fields, uh, I've got uh, this information, which is kind of what was there from before. <laughs> and then there's other things that we could, you know, kind of add in if we cared to, uh, that would be part of the history. But uh, thanks for watching. I hope that's helpful.